make some mole today and here's most of the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need some bread, you're going to need some cloves, ground cloves, you're going to need sugar, you're going to need cinnamon, apple cider vinegar, an onion, small onion, uh, garlic, plantain, black peppercorns, uh, pineapple, and ancho chili pods, chili peppers. Anchos are the dried version of poblano. So we need six of those. And that's, oh. I'm going to use about two chicken breasts and also about three quarters of a pound of pork. And I think that's about it. The first thing you want to do is you want to take your chilies that are dried and you'll see they're kind of flat and I just take scissors and go up one of the sides of them and cut it open and then open it and get all the seeds out that you can which you should get easily get most of them out and uh, discard the stem and all that and anyway if some pieces are around the stem get those you want to save those save the little pieces some of the uh, chilies will be bigger and, or some are smaller this happens to be a, a smaller one anyway do that to all your chilies I'm going to take the uh, anchos. I'm going to put them in a dry skillet over medium heat and I'm going to press down on these things and you want to just kind of keep close and until you get it like a smell from them. This kind of livens them up, makes them wake, awake, gets them out of their sleep and do that to both sides. Press them down on there, make sure they get hot. You'll even see they kind of have some, get a little shiny. They have a little bit of oil in there, slightly. Turn them over again. They'll even change kind of to a reddish color. And that's what you really are looking for. That's what you want to do. See how that one's changed from darker to a little bit kind of lighter or brown or red. Anyway, that's good enough. You want to do this to all your peppers, all your chilies, and put them in a bowl. And do this to all of them. I have all the chilies that are in the bowl, and here is my tea kettle. And I warmed up some water to about boiling. And I'm going to cover the chilies with water. And kind of put a smaller plate in there to hold them down in there. We need to let these soak. I'm going to take my same skillet and put two tablespoons of vegetable oil in there. And I'm going to add the onion. And fry this up. The onions have gone for about five minutes, and here I have five cloves of garlic, but I sliced them in half, like that way. And I'm going to add those in there. And um, I had the pan on medium heat, and then I lowered it to like medium low. So it's on medium low now with the garlic in there, because I don't want to burn the garlic, but we're going to cook this up. Cook it up. Here I have my blender, and I'm going to take all the uh, onions and garlic and put it in my blender. And the uh, onions have gotten quite brown, that's what you want, and the garlic has gotten soft. And if I, I think I did not tell you this, the garlic was peeled before I put it in here. And we're just trying to uh, make sure the garlic has contact to the pan bottom, bottom of the pan. 
and get softened. So that's, I've got most of it. That's pretty good. I've wiped my pan out uh, to get all the onions and garlic out there because I don't want to burn it if anything was left. I turned up the heat to medium high and I'm going to add my pork. It's about three quarters of a pound of pork. We want to brown this all over on each side. The pork has been cooking about 10 minutes. I'm going to take it out and put it on a plate. And next I'm going to add the chicken. So here's the chicken. And I'm going to brown this up a little bit. The chicken has cooked for a couple minutes per side. It's browned on each side. It's not done. It doesn't matter. It's going to cook some more. So we're going to take this and set it aside. We're at my sink now. In the sink. And we're going to take the uh, chili peppers and drain those. And then we're going to take the anchos and put them into the blender. We have the uh, chilies, the anchos in there. We're going to add a cup of water. I'm going to add one tablespoon of cider vinegar. One half teaspoon of cinnamon and two half teaspoons of salt, which is one teaspoon. I'm going to add the ground cloves, one eighth teaspoon. The black peppercorns, about six or seven of those in there. And last of all, two slices of bread. This is kind of like a healthy or heavy bread. If you're using like the American type of bread that you can like make a ball out of, you probably need four pieces. And you need to uh, mix this up and puree it very finely. I'm heating up my pan again. I'm going to pour all the uh, sauce mixture into here. I'm going to let this cook. Try to get it all in there. The sauce has been cooking for about five minutes. It's darkened just a little bit. I'm going to add two cups of water. I'm going to turn the temperature down to medium low. I'm going to add the pork and all its juices. It has some chicken juices in there too. That's okay. I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to cover it leaving in the lid ajar and I'm going to let this simmer for four or 45 minutes or an hour. An hour. The pork is cooked for about an hour. I'm going to take the lid off here. And we're going to add the chicken. And finish cooking the chicken because the chicken never got cooked all the way. And we're going to add about a cup of uh, pineapple that I cut up. I stir this up and cook this for 15 minutes. And I'm going to cover it again. And uh, I'm going to leave the spoon in there so it's not like the steam can escape. Now here is my plantain. I actually have two of them. And I'm just start, I cubed it up. I'm going to put it over here on the stove. And... Um, Put some vegetable oil in there and cook that up and get it browned. I'm going to add the uh, plantains in here. And I have uh, two teaspoons of brown sugar and one teaspoon of salt, additional salt. Um, you need to kind of taste it to see if it needs salt and I think it did. So I'm adding another and just let this all warm up and we're ready to plate have it plated up and let's try some chicken. Mm. 
very smoky. Very smoky, has a great flavor. Um, it's kind of an acquired taste. I happen to love it. You just taste all kinds of things. It's not, it's not like spicy hot. Thanks for watching.